Hello and welcome to the next coding tutorial. In this one, I am going to answer another popular JavaScript interview question. And that question is following. What is the difference between arrow function and regular function? And uh, which type of functions is used more often in modern JavaScript development? So let's get an answer. There are actually several differences and uh, I want to talk about some of them. So first difference. Regular function may have name or may exist without name, so maybe anonymous. Arrow functions are always anonymous. Second difference. Regular function with name may be hoisted. What is that? It means that uh, you can declare a function in a specific scope and call that function before its actual declaration. That is called hoisting. With arrow functions, it is not possible. For the first difference. Because arrow function doesn't have any name. Of course, you can uh, assign arrow function uh, to the variable and uh, declare that variable using either let or const. I am not talking about var, because uh, var is not uh, used anymore in modern JavaScript development. So if you create a variable and declare it using let or const and uh, assign, for example, arrow function to that variable, you will not be able to call this function before its actual assignment to the variable in the code. That's because it is not possible to do that with variables declared with let or const. Next difference. Arrow function doesn't have own this. And uh, if you will try to access variable called this inside of the arrow function, variable will be borrowed or taken from outer context. In some cases it may be useful, in some not. For example, if you want to attach uh, some event handler to the button or to some, for example, drop-down menu in the UI and uh, react uh, in some fashion, for example, change color of the button or change text of the button, you may use uh, this variable. So this, in a moment when button will be pressed, will be equal to this button. But uh, if you will use arrow function as event handler, then this will be usually equal to window, global object, and uh, you will not be able to perform some changes with button or drop down menu. That's why for such uh, usages uh, you should use uh, regular functions. Another difference. Arrow function doesn't have access to the variable called arguments. In the regular function, you are able to access uh, arguments variable that will hold array of all arguments that were used in a function call. There are, of course, other differences, of course, syntactic difference between arrow function and regular function, and the uh, arrow function has uh, some variations of syntax. For example, if uh, there is only single parameter in the function, you can omit parentheses uh, around uh, parameters list and so on. And I want to give you some examples where arrow functions are used uh, more often in modern JavaScript development. So first case is uh, simply assignment of arrow function to the variable and uh, declaration of that variable using const. If you declare this variable using const in the code, you can be sure that uh, you will not uh, occasionally reassign value of this variable later on in the code and uh, this variable will hold a function at least in uh, the scope where it is declared. Also, arrow functions are very often used as callback functions. So what is callback function? Callback function is a function that is passed as argument in a call to another function. And uh, why arrow functions are usually used here? Because uh, callback functions don't require to be named. And uh, that is a perfect case to use arrow functions. Also, you may use arrow functions uh, as immediately invoked 
arrow functions. Or you can use regular functions as well. But there are still reasons uh, when you should use regular function. First, when you want uh, function to be hoisted. And uh, second, uh, when you want to have access to this inside of the function. Remember that arrow functions don't have own this. That's where main differences between regular function and arrow function. If you like this answer, please hit the thumbs up button. Also, please suggest other questions that you were asked during interviews. Also, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. More tutorials are coming up. So, see you in the next tutorials and bye bye.